Okay, so now I'll be showing you my book haul. So in total, I have bought around 11 books and the total bill for these books are 2,500 pesos or $50. And this um, this is actually pretty cheap because um, the total without the discount, the total for all of these without discount is around 100 $150 so $50 is basically like more than half a reduction so this is worth my money and then I'll be showing you each one so the first book I got is called The Trouble with Twins by Catherine Sibel and this is actually a hardcover book so pretty cheap for a hardcover book so here's the um, synopsis. Arabella and Henrietta were born on the second and third days of April. When they were little, they were everything to each other. They slept in the same crib and wore matching baby outfits. They dreamed together the same dreams and played together. People said they learned to talk their own secret language that no one else could understand. They were both beautiful, go beautiful girls. But from the start, Arabella was somehow more beautiful than Henrietta. And that is where the trouble began. Yeah. Next is a book called Gifted and Talented by Wendy Holden. So I'll be read. Here's the synopsis. Diana is starting a new life as a gardener at Branston, a challenging restoration project that allows her to indulge love of delphiniums beneath the disconcerting gaze of dishy but remote richard the recently widowed college master a new term brings new students among them it girl amber darling of the gossip columns and dead ringer for inclusion in the university's notorious elite society as lustful teenagers and crabby tutors run riot in diana's garden her peaceful heaven is trampled and then a blast from the past threatens to ruin a new romance. Can anything save Diana's hard-won happiness, let alone her herbaceous borders? The third book is called Earth Hates Me by Ruby Carp, and it's about true confessions from a teenage girl. So basically, these are just short stories about Ruby's life when she was a teenager. So. It's something teenagers can relate to. The fourth book is called The Geek Shall Inherit the Earth by Alexandra Robbins. So here's his hypnosis. In a smart, entertaining, reassuring book, Alexandra Robbins manages to cross Gossip Girl with freaks and geeks and explain the fascinating psychology behind popularity and outcasthood. She reveals that the things that set students apart in high school are the things that help them stand out later in life. Robbins follows seven real people grappling with uncertainties of high school social life. The loner, the popular, mm, the nerd, the new girl, the gamer, the weird girl, and the band geek. She interwines these narratives often triumphant, occasionally heartbreaking, and always captivating with essays exploring the secrets of popularity why being excluded doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you, why outsiders succeed, and how schools make the social scene worse, and what they can do about it. The fifth book is called Beware That Girl, and um, it's by Teresa Totten. So, in this book, on her first day at the Allied Waverly School, Kate's plan is to climb the social ranks and land a spot at Yale. She's determined to forget her past and make a better life for herself. She deserves it. She's book smart, she's street smart, and she's also an exceptional liar. Mega rich, yet deeply damaged, Olivia Michelle Summer is the perfect prey. All Kate needs is for Olivia to trust her, become, a, become the best friend, the sister she never had, with a bond that can never be broken. The sixth book is called Infinite In Between by Carolyn Mackler. 
So, the hypnosis is, it was the day before the first day of high school. Gregor, Whitney, Jake, Zoe, and Mia wrote letters to their future selves, hid them in a secret place, and vowed to unearth them at graduation, as if any of them had a clue what the next four years had in store. In her most ambitious novel yet, award-winning author Carolyn Machter delivers a rich, humorous, heartfelt saga of high school in the 21st century. The seventh book is called The Truth Game and it's by Anna Staniszewski. Sorry, I can't pronounce the name. So here's the synopsis. Rachel Lee thought that ninth grade would be different, that she would be different. She get to hold hands with Evan in the hallway, become president of the cooking club, but it feels just like she and BFF Marisol are drifting apart. At first, Rachel thought the truth game up would be a great way to do a little anonymous confessing to see how others handle their friendship fails. But when her painful truths became become club public, Rachel's in danger of losing her best friend permanently. So, so the eighth book um, I have is called Gifted, and this is a one whole volume. So there are three books in this book. So let me show you. So the synopsis for the first book is called. Um, out of sight, out of mind, Queen of Mean, Amanda B. Sun, 13, gets the shock of her life when she wakes up one morning to find herself in the body of one of her victims, Tracy Devon. It turns out Tracy, it turns out that Tracy, ignored at home in school, has the ability to become invisible. When Amanda finds herself in a special class that Tracy, Tracy usually attends, um, it becomes clear that Middle Brook Middle School, the definition of gifted, has a whole other meaning. Can Amanda rescue her one-time target from obscurity and get her life back even if it means revealing her own startling gift to Middle Brook's very elite clique? The second book is called Better Late Than Never. God girl Jenna Kelly has the ultimate tool to stage a teenage rebellion. She can read people's minds. When her alcoholic mother is hospitalized, a stranger shows up who says he's her long-lost dad and promises a better future. Too good to be true, her gifted classmates think so, but Jenna's so determined to have a real parent around and somewhat normal life that she may no longer be listening. The third one is Here Today, Gone Tomorrow. Shy, dreamy Emily Sanders is able to foresee future events with the gift of premonitions, but they aren't always quite right. With frustration, Emily cannot yet manage to control her visions or make sense of them and the other students usually don't take her seriously. As Emily works on controlling her gift and her premonitions become clearer, her classmates find themselves in a situation where they are forced to listen to her. But will it be too late? The ninth book I have is called Unfriended by Rachel Vail. Uh-huh. When Fru Lee is asked to join the popular table, she's beyond sight. Sure, she has to abandon her quick, quirky best friend Hazel to get there, but hopefully Hazel won't find anyway. Her new friends are fun, smart, and really nice, right? Or could sweet Natasha be up to her old manipulative tricks again? What about confident Jack, perfect Brooke, super chill play? Is anybody really what they seem to be? Um, the tenth book I have is called make more noise so um there are a lot of authors in this book because basically it's a collection of brand new short stories from 10 of the uk's very best storytellers celebrating inspirational girls and women in honor of the 100 100 anniversary of women's suffrage so it's just basically um short stories of different authors and the 11th and last book is called girl code this is by andrea gonzalez and sophie hauser so let's see when teenage coders andrea andy gonzalez and sophie hauser decided they had enough of how women are shamed for having periods they created a video game called tampon run to fight the taboo. The game went viral overnight and Annie and Sophie were thrown into the spotlight. 
their faces splashed across all the biggest media outlets. The two girls quickly gained exclusive access to the tech industry, attending major events like hackathons and visiting high-profile companies and icons. Andy and Sophie's lives, careers, and futures were changed forever, all thanks to the power of coding. Now, in Girl Code, Andy and Sophie share how their knowledge of coding and gaming, not to mention their unique perspectives as women in a male-dominated industry, has transformed their outlooks. They give straightforward advice on everything you need to know to start changing your own world. From a clear, concise guide to coding to the lockdown on the inner workings of the tech industry. To insider tips of female tech founders on how they manage to use incredible innovative ideas to answer social problems. Empowering and laugh out loud funny Andy and Sophie's story will inspire you to think strategically about how you can inspire change one project, one idea, one creation at a time. So this is the end of the video and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you do like this video and if you do, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any notification. And comment down below um, if you ever been to a book fair and what book is in your to buy list or to read list. So I will see you guys next week. So have a great day and stay safe. Bye!